Hi, we're in book nine, and we are going to now look at Satan's arguments to Eve and how he convinces her to eat of the fruit. If you remember, Milton established Eve's character as one that is vain, um, she's a little ignorant, and so Satan begins by appealing to her vanity. Uh, we find this around lines oh, 515 uh, through about 525. What he does is, is he's in the serpent form now, and he's trying to get her attention. He's curling himself in wreaths around her feet. He's uh, bowing down before her as if, uh, to, as if worshiping her. So he's trying to praise her beauty. He mentions that. He, actually, he mentions her beauty. He says that, um, and this is about line 538, says that Eve is the fairest resemblance of thy maker fair. Thee all things living gaze on, all things thine by thy gift and thy celestial beauty adore. So he's saying everything worships Eve. Eve is so gorgeous. Um, and then once he's got her attention, um, they start to discuss things. And Eve says, Yo, how, how do you have language? Yo, no other animal has language. And then Satan tells her of the fruit. He says, I ate of this fruit and I've ascended up to the level of man. I have reasoning skills. I, I can speak. Um, and he, here's his argument, and I'm going to run through this list rather quickly. So if you are writing these down, please write down these line numbers. Everything in here comes from Book 9. Uh, the first part of his argument comes from lines 685 through 688. He says that the fruit of the tree gives knowledge, but not death. And he's proof of that. Lines 691 through 692, he says that this gift is open up to the beasts, so why would God shut this gift out to man? Line 696 through 697, he says, well, knowledge is a good thing. It leads to a happier life. Line 698 and 699, he says, it's easier to shun evil if one knows what it is. So hence, eating this fruit that brings knowledge, wouldn't it be easier to shun evil? Now that's playing into Adam and Eve's fear. They know that the tempter is loose. They know that there's some danger about, but they're not sure what it is. So he's also appealing to her ignorance. You know, Eve wants to know more. So he's saying, well, if you know a little bit more, then it's going to be easier to shun this evil. Um, and then lines 700 through 701, God cannot be just if he would seek to harm his creation. What do you mean God's going to kill you? What kind of a just God would harm his creation? Lines 703 through 705, the fruit must be forbidden to keep man low and ignorant and his worshipers of God. So he's essentially saying that man has no position higher than God. He's, at, at that point when he says that, 703 through 705, he's trying to put his desires into Eve. I'm, I'm going to read those lines. Oh, 705 through 703 says, um, he wants to keep you low and ignorant, his worshipers. He knows that in the day you eat thereof, your eyes that seem so clear, yet are but dim, shall perfectly be by then open and cleared, and ye shall be as gods. So he's trying, because if you remember, Satan's whole purpose was to be like God, to be equal with God, and for that he was cast out of heaven. So he's trying to instill in Eve his desire to be like God. Um, then line 708 through 712, he says, well, this fruit is going to make you humans as gods. He says, think about me. I'm this lowly serpent down here. I ate of the fruit. I gained speech and reasoning abilities, so I moved up to the level of man. So man, if man eats of this fruit, he's bound to move upward, so he'll move upward to the level of God. Um, so, so he puts them on sort of this tier, and he says, this is what's going to happen. This is the result of eating the fruit. Uh, then lines 713 through 715, he says, oh, you're not going to die. He says the death spoken of means death in the human form, as humanity takes on a godlike form. Um, and then 723 through 726, he says wisdom is not an offense. Again, he's saying wisdom is a good thing. Knowledge is a good thing. Why not try of this fruit? And then finally, lines 727 through 731, he said maybe God is envious of the knowledge that you're about to gain. So he gives Eve this nicely packaged argument, and it is a really tight argument. Milton did a really good job of setting it up and playing into Eve's vulnerability uh, by establishing her character early on. So his argument is a sound one. Eve believes uh, the serpent, and Eve eats of the fruit.